guys, my name is Profess, bringing you guys a brand new video here today. This is a different kind of video. I never really sit down in front of the camera and unbox stuff for you guys, but I thought I would. I usually just do Call of Duty videos, live commentaries, stuff like that. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go check out some of my videos if you guys are into Call of Duty. But um, my scuff broke about a week and a half ago. My left trigger stopped working and my right analog was wore out. And it, um, when, when I wasn't even touching my analog, my guy would like look around in like, the left direction and like, look up to the sky. Weird stuff like that. So I went ahead and bought a new scuff. I tweeted out on Twitter that I bought a new scuff, and it should be here the around the 13th. And it actually got here on the 8th. And they they usually send me like emails or text messages or something that update me on my order, but they didn't. And I was like, they probably haven't even shipped it yet. So um, I was actually pretty surprised when my girlfriend called me and said your controller came, because it's kind of crazy that it came five days early. But um, yeah, guys. So let's get right into this unboxing. Here is the front of the box. I got the impact, guys. I recommend getting the impact over any of the scuffs, unless you guys play Fortnite. They have the Vantage that has the two extra buttons on the sides. So if you guys play Fortnite on console, it will give you a huge advantage. I'm not sponsored by Scuff or anything. I'm just letting you guys know, trying to help your guys' game out. But there's the front of the box. There's the back of the box. And then let's get right into this. So we take this sleeve off. I'm just gonna toss it down here, and then. You got your scuff logo on the front of the box. It's not really going to focus, guys. I'm using my face cam um, for this video. It's only 720p, or it's 1080p, 30fps, but it's not very good quality. You got your welcome to scuff um, card. And then you have your product guide that helps you get into your controller. Go ahead and throw that box down there. And then here we go, guys. Let's get right into the controller. So here's your scuff ring, guys. That helps you take off your analogs. And I see a lot of people that unbox these. Um, they try to take off your analogs and they get scared because they don't want to come off. Guys, just twist the key, twist your little ring, and rip it out, guys. Don't be scared. Um, you're not going to break your controller. They are stuck in there a little bit. I did already play with this. That's why it is on because um, I had a scuff sent to me. Um, I had an Xbox scuff controller sent to me um, a while back, and I unboxed it, got it out of the box, plugged it in, and it did not work at all. I couldn't sprint or anything. I was pretty upset. I sent it back. They did fix it. But um, so you get your Allen or your ring key, and then you get your scuff key in the box for your trigger stops, and you also get these um fangs. They call them fangs. They're like little trigger extenders for your um triggers. There, I don't recommend using those. I don't really like them. But um, yeah, guys. So um, they have a thing on scuff right now called Max Your Scuff, where you can get a set scuff, customized scuff, fully whatever you want for one hundred and ninety dollars. I also bought a cable, guys. The cool thing about scuff controllers is they have this little box around their usb port i'm looking over here guys because my camera's over or my computer screen's over here so i can see if everything's focused but yeah guys right here they have a little usb um plug-in box thing and their cables actually fit perfectly in there and they like lock into place so like if you drop your controller your usb is not going to get bent and broken so you can't use it anymore so that is also really cool what they do with their controllers. And then you also have your normal aux cord up front here. You got your four paddles. Um, and then let's get into, like, I got the all-white shell with the red rings, red buttons, red triggers, and the um, red grip tape. As you guys see, my mouse, my desk is red. This is a big mouse pad on my desk. I got in a rosy desk. Um, I was going to do um, a game set of if you guys want to see one, let me know. I'm probably doing anyway, so you guys can see what I'm working with with my setup and if I can recommend anything for you guys to help you guys out with your setup. But um, also, guys, with the scuffs, do not get these scuff analogs. Um, it comes with scuff analogs. It doesn't come with it, but it recommends you get these scuff analogs. Do not get these scuff analogs. Get the regular, for, the regular PS4 analogs and then buy Control Freaks if you guys like different lengths on your analog sticks because the scuff analogs... For some reason, guys, they make them out of a rubber material that likes to tear easily. Um, I don't think it's ever lasted me up to like three months, and my analog already starts to tear and wear down. And it's just not a good material, guys. They have like the scuff logo on them, so you guys will know if you guys have them on your controller. But, um, yeah, guys, this is what I went for for the fully customized scuff with shipping and um, normal shipping and this cable right here. It was $220 to give you guys a base price on what it could cost. If you guys just get the controller, I think it's like $205 with shipping. Um, so it's actually pretty pricey, guys. These are going to wear out um, in about a year or two. Um, I think I've had my Scump, which I don't have with me right now. Um, I let my friend borrow it so you can see what it's like, even though it's kind of broken. But um, that controller lasts me about two years, maybe a year and a half. And then it started having problems. But also, guys, if you guys take care of your controllers, I also drop my controllers a lot and bang them around. I also got the rumbles out, so this thing feels like paper in my hand, guys. You cannot even feel it if you guys get the rumbles out. 
But um, yeah, guys, that's what my controller looks like. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope this video helped you out if you guys are looking to purchase this stuff. It is a big investment. Um, they're pretty pricey for just a controller that you just casually play video games with. I'm a casual player now. I used to play competitive, so like a scuff was a big deal. But um, I like to make good videos for you guys. I like to shit on kids in pubs. So I still run a scuff all the time. I always will. Unless some new company comes out. I know people run with Battle Beaver or anything. But Scuff has always been the ultimate company for me. They make the best. And guys, this material that they use, like this matte material on their controllers, it absolutely feels amazing. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, please make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are new to my channel, you guys enjoyed this video, or you guys have seen my other videos and you guys enjoyed them, please make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.